Hello, my name is Kath Thomas and I am head of the Woodwind team with the Oldham Music Service. The Music Service employs lots of music teachers, many of whom began learning to play their chosen instrument when they were young girls and boys, just like you. So, I'm here today to introduce you to my special team of woodwind teachers and their instruments. Do you think you might want to learn to play one of our woodwind instruments? Let's find out some more information. Hi, and this is my fabulous woodwind team. So give everybody a smile and a wave team. Brilliant. Now, before you hear from them, let me tell you a little bit about our amazing job as music teachers. Not only do we get to travel around to lots of primary and secondary schools each week and teach lots of children to play our woodwind instruments, we also spend a lot of our time after school at the Older Music Centre where we run lots of bands and orchestras for the children we teach so they can enjoy playing their instruments together as a team. So you only need to be able to play up to about five notes to join one of our amazing five note bands, which brings me on nicely to introduce the first member of my team, Donna Howarth. I've worked for the Older Music Service for about eight years now, and I've now progressed on to being the leader of the five note bands. So if you decide to learn a woodwind instrument or any instrument, you might be seeing a lot of me in the beginning stages of your musical journey. I first started my musical journey at the age of nine, and I started to learn the clarinet at school. I progressed on further. Um, I, could, I learned to play the flute and the saxophone and the organ. And then I went to university to train to be a music teacher. And I've been doing that now for the past 15 years. And I love it, it's the best job in the world. I'd like you now to meet my colleague, Mr. Simon Prince. Hello, I'm Simon Prince and I play the saxophone and the flute and the clarinet and teach the woodwind instruments um, in Oldham. I first played the saxophone uh, in school, in secondary school, when I was about 13 or 14. And a couple of years after that, I started playing the flute as well. I played right through school, in the school bands, and then in pop bands and jazz bands. And then I went to college as a flute player to learn some classical flute. After that, I played the saxophone for a long time in reggae and pop bands, and then became a teacher. And I've taught musical instruments now for 25 years. I'm going to pass on now to another teacher, his flute player and woodwind player, Mrs. Jane Meaden. I started playing the flute when I was about 12 years old, because it took me quite a long time to persuade my parents to let me have lessons. As soon as I got my flute, I fell in love with it. In fact, I remember never wanting to put it down. I was soon able to join lots of bands and orchestras, and I still play in an orchestra today, which means that I've been able to travel the world playing my flute, been to America and China and all over Europe. I've been working as a music teacher for the Oldham Music Centre for about 22 years now, and I love the fact that I get to have music in my life every single day. And I love even more that I get to share it with all the young people in Oldham, just like you. I'd like you to meet Mrs Hartnell Booth now. Thank you. I'm Mrs Hartnell Booth and I started to learn the flute when I was in year three. Um, I loved playing the flute and I played as part of the school orchestra and enjoyed the assemblies a lot. But unfortunately, when I got to secondary school, there wasn't a flute teacher for me. So with a bit of my mum's help, I swapped and I started playing the oboe. And I absolutely adored playing the oboe, so I kept that up. I played it and played it and played it. I played in lots of bands, lots of orchestras, and eventually I went to college at the Royal Northern College of Music in Manchester. And that was just shortly before I started teaching for Oldham Music Service. And I've been doing that ever since. I'm going to pass you back to Mrs Catherine Thomas now. Thank you. So I started to learn to play the flute when I was in year three at Rushcroft School in Shaw. I joined the Older Music Centre when I was about nine years old and as soon as I was good enough I made my way up through the different levels of the bands and uh, played both flute and saxophone uh, until I left when I was about 18 uh, to study music performance at university and I then became a teacher and I've been teaching now for about 22 years. 
So my team can't wait to show you what their woodwind instruments sound like. So here goes. I'm Mrs Meaden and I'm here to tell you all about this beautiful instrument, the flute. The flute is the only member of the woodwind family that doesn't need a reed to make the sound. Instead, you just blow across this small hole here. I love everything about the flute. I like the way it looks, all silvery and shiny, but the thing that I love the most is the beautiful sound that it makes. I expect most of you have seen the film Beauty and the Beast. Next time you watch it, just listen out for some of the gorgeous flute tunes. The flute can play lots of different styles. It can play very, very high and quickly. very very low with dark mysterious sounds like in this well-known tune. So that's the flute. I hope that some of you will love it just as much as I do and when you come to choose your instrument you'll decide that the flute is the one for you. Hi, I'm going to show you the oboe. This is one of my favourite instruments. It's one of two double reed instruments from the woodwind family and they're called that because they both use this type of reed. It's got two parts to the top of the reed and because of that it can make a sound all by itself. We call this crowing but really it's just like bird calls. However I don't think I want it to sound like that all the time so if I put my reed in the top of the oboe it'll turn it into a really beautiful sound. shiny keys and I'm going to make it turn into a slightly snake charmery sound for you. Have a listen to this. Donna Howarth. I'd like to show you a different woodwind instrument now, the clarinet. So here's my clarinet. As you can see it's quite a long instrument but don't let that put you off. It's exactly the same length as a flute and to make life even easier it comes apart and you can put it into a case and then pop it in your bag and bring it along to school for your lesson. If you've seen Spongebob Squarepants on TV, you will know that Squidward plays the clarinet. But I can guarantee if you have lessons with us, you will definitely be better than Squidward. 
So the most important piece on a clarinet is nothing to do with how long it is. It's nothing to do with these beautiful shiny keys. It is in fact this tiny small piece of wood that we call a reed. It's really important because this is the part that makes your clarinet make a sound. At the moment my clarinet doesn't have a reed and if I try to blow <coughs> nothing happens. So it's this that makes your clarinet make a sound. It's really easy to fix on but we will show you how to do it properly in your lessons. There we go, on, quick and easy. So I should be able to play you a piece of music now. Hello, I'm Simon Prince and I teach woodwind instruments. I started learning saxophone at secondary school. It was the look of the instrument that grabbed me and its sound on pop records that I liked. Here comes the breathy sound of the tenor saxophone played outdoors during my lockdown practice. <laughs> Hi, I'm going to show you the bassoon. This is it. Really big instrument, the biggest of the woodwind. This instrument is a really special instrument to me and I love playing it. It's also a double reed instrument, which means we use a reed with two parts to it, which can make a sound by itself. We call it crowing, but really it just sounds like some bird calls. When I put the reed into the crook, it's going to turn this sound into a very jolly sound. See if you can recognise this little tune.
Thank you for watching our Woodwind Team video and I hope it has inspired you to want to learn to play one of our wonderful woodwind instruments. Ask your class teacher for more information about what options are available to you in your school. We hope to be teaching you soon. Bye!